I am with Kentucky Kids on the Book. And, uh, well, we have one of our puppeteers here, and she's going to read a story to us. This is Amanda Guerra. Yeah, and today we're going to read the book Big Pumpkin by Erica Silverman. This book is, is kind of special to me. This was my book when I was a little girl, and now I have a little girl, and she really likes this book. So I thought I would read it to you for Halloween coming up. Okay, yeah, I like Halloween. Halloween's right. so much fun. Yeah, me too. I like all the candy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Candy kind of gets me a little bit in trouble because it gets me kind of hyper. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does, doesn't it? Anyway, on to the book. Anyway, so once there was a witch who wanted to make pumpkin pie. So she planted a seed and weeded and watered. And after a while, a sprout poked through. And then a pumpkin grew. And it grew. And then it grew some more. Halloween was just hours away. The witch thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the witch. Pumpkin, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's a really big yeah, pumpkin. It's as big as she is. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's just in the book. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, that kind of scared me for a second there. It, it's okay. It's a, it's a ghost. Yeah. Ooh. Well, just then along came the ghost. Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than you and stronger too boasted the ghost. Let me try. Huh, said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. Mm, pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin bread better than pumpkin pie. Well, I like them both. <laughs> the ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder. But the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the ghost. Well, is anybody going to be able to move that pumpkin? I don't know. Here comes someone Ooh. else that's going to try. Ooh, look at those sharp teeth. Uh-huh. <laughs> just then, along came a vampire. Big pumpkin, said the vampire. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than both of you and stronger too, boasted the vampire. Huh, said the witch. Huh, said the ghost. <laughs> but they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The vampire bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder. But the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the vampire. Just then, along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And what did she do? She kicked that pumpkin. I bet her toes getting ready to start hurting after kicking that pumpkin so much. Well, I'm worried about the pumpkin getting a hole in it. Oh, yeah. I wasn't thinking about that. Uh -huh. I was thinking about the poor toes. <laughs> well, the mummy said, I am bigger than all of you and stronger too. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. <laughs> Well, the mummy bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder. But the pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the mummy. Just then, along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. It's a squeaky little voice for a bat, isn't it? Uh-huh, yeah. It's a little bitty thing, though. 
The witch didn't say a word. She just looked at the ghost and rolled her eyes. The ghost looked at the vampire. The vampire looked at the mummy. They all looked at the little bat and they started to laugh. Do you think that hurt the bat's feelings? Yeah, that's not very nice. No, it's not. No. Well, I might not be big and I might not be strong, said the bat, but I have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. Hmm, said the mummy. <laughs> pumpkin pie and bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy. The mummy pulled the vampire. The vampire pulled the ghost. The ghost pulled the witch and the witch pulled the pumpkin. Well, they pulled and they tugged and they pulled. First they pulled hard and then they pulled harder and... came the pumpkin. Drat, said the witch. Whoosh, it flew and it flew and thud. It landed right on top of a hill. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump. It bounced all the way down to the witch's house. And when it got to her door, that pumpkin just sat. Hooray for the bat, shouted the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. Mmm, said the ghost. Have some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party, said the mummy. Time to go, said the bat. <laughs> I, I, I like the bat voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> said the witch as she watched them all leave. Then she went right back out and planted another pumpkin seed. So she's gonna have more pumpkins yeah. and more pumpkin pie. Uh -huh. Yeah, and maybe more friends to help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if next year's pumpkin's gonna be bigger. I don't know. Oh Maybe boy. Even more friends, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, thank you so much for reading a book to me. You're and, welcome. And thank you all. And you all have a safe and happy Halloween. Bye, guys. Stay safe Bye. out there.